EUIC just wrapped up the biggest tournament outside of Japan ever, and a familiar face won the whole thing. Shoutouts to Tord Reklev, arguably the Pokemon TCG GOAT, and won the tournament with Charizard E. X. And this is a deck that has been hyped up as the strongest deck, the best deck post-rotation, but Tord has some spice that other decks aren't playing right now. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Ch Tord's Charizard EX list. Of course, Charizard EX is a Dark-type Pokemon. It's a Terra-type, and it is has a whopping 330 HP to retreat, and its ability Infernal Rain lets you accelerate. Once you evolve to Charizard EX, lets you accelerate three fire energy from the deck onto your Pokemon in any way you like and that's going to help power up burning darkness for two fire energy does 180 damage and does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken if your opponent's taken five prizes this is swinging for 330 damage essentially one shotting almost everything in the game but leading up to that point you're still hitting some really big numbers and are able to take one shots on multi-prize pokemon in the mid game as well making this one of the best attacks attackers in the game and helping power this up towards got this crazy list of cards here we've got the the 413 line we've got the charmander toward going with the 60 hp charmander no 70 hp ones here with the heat tackle for one fire for 30 damage which is actually a pretty good number for a basic you're going to knock out stuff like flittle with that charmander and then we also have one copy of the Charmeleon with the Flare Veil, where you prevent prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. So we are going to be able to block Sableye's Lost Mine with the Charmeleon in play, but only on the Charmeleon. Um, as far as secondary attackers go, we've got the Radiant Charizard for the late game, where its Excited Heart ability lets it, makes its attack cost cheaper the more prizes your opponent's taken. So if they've taken four prizes, you can attack with just one fire energy. For draw engines, the normally we see Pidgeot, in Charizard decks, we've got the the quick search ability here. Let's you grab a card of your choice, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. But Tord also squeezed in a 1-1 one, one Bibaral line where its Industrious Incisor's ability lets you draw up to five cards. And having the combination of being able to draw up to five cards and draw a card of your choice is incredibly powerful. It does take a hit to your consistency. It's a little difficult. It's already kind of tricky to set up a Pidgeot as is, but getting Pidgeot and, and Bibaral is um, probably trickier, but there are times where, let's say they knock out the Pidgey, you've still got the, the Bidoof into Bibaral, or vice versa, and you, you have like a redundancy there so you don't get screwed and just can't draw cards. So I really like squeezing both in there. We also have some extra ways of drawing cards at the beginning of the game. Rotom V is a card we see a lot with that instant charge ability, lets you draw three cards at the end of your turn. And then we have Cleffa here, which is a, a new innovation in Charizard. Turn one going second, you get to use Grasping Draw for zero energy, and you can draw cards until you have seven in your hand. So there are going to be times where Cleffa is fine and you don't want to bench Rotom. There will be times where Rotom is better than Cleffa. Cleffa is great if you don't have seven cards in hand. If if you have, if you're only drawing, um, you can draw up to seven. If you have seven or more, or you just need three cards, like, yeah, Rotom is just plus three versus Cleffa's up to seven. So keep that in mind. For protecting the bench, we've got ourselves Jirachi and Manaphy. Jirachi blocks damage counters. Manaphy blocks damage. So this is going to block stuff like Lost Mine. Manaphy is going to block Moonlight Shuriken off Greninja. And then we also have one Lumineon V for grabbing a supporter of our choice. The oftentimes we're gonna be using Arvin to grab ourselves a rare candy and a four seal stone, which gets us the second piece to get rolling. For trainer cards, one copy of Countercatcher. When we're behind on prizes, we can just gust up a bench Pokemon into the active. We've got one copy of Nest Ball to get a basic down, one copy of Four Seal Stone, which we're going to slap onto a Rotom or Luminion to grab a card of our choice from the deck as our V-Star power. Four copies of Ultra Ball, discard two guards, grab a Pokemon of our choice. One copy of Prime Catcher. This is an interesting choice because a lot of Charizard decks are running Maximum Belt for that extra 50 damage. Uh, my instincts also say run Maximum Belt, but Prime Catcher is an excellent choice as well. Let's you gust up a opposing Pokemon with 
um, yeah, with an item instead, which is incredibly powerful. You will have to pivot here and there, but that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Can help Charizard take out stuff like Luminions and Squawkabillies and other damaged Pokemon before you hit that one-shot territory in the late game. Choice Belt gets us plus 30 damage on Pokemon V. Two copies of Boss's, boss's Orders to gust up a bench Pokemon into the active. And another innovation here, Professor Turo Scenario. Tor has two of these, which lets you put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand and discard attached cards uh, from that Pokemon. And this is great for getting, one, getting Luminion off the board, but any sort of Pokemon that can get trapped in the Snorlax matchup or any anything where they're trying to trap your Pokemon, Professor Turo just gets them off the board. And then we have Team Yell's Cheer as well, where you get to shuffle up to three in any combination of Pokemon and supporter cards, except for Team Yell's Cheer. And this can get you stuff like your Charizards and, and whatnot, but it can also get you Professor Turo scenario back. So you can play that up to four times, which is fantastic. We got three copies of Arvin. This is usually a four of in Charizard decks. Uh, three felt fine to me. Here we get to search our deck for an item and a tool card. This is going to be our combo for Rare Candy Four Seal Stone, but there are other tools and items we may want to grab, such as Prime Catcher, such as Defiance Band, and so on. Two copies of Super Odd to get our Pokemon and our energy back from the discard pile into the deck, up to three in combination. And this is very incredibly important because this deck is very stingy on energy, only six. So they're going to be, you're going to have to play at least a Super Odd more often than not. One copy of Lost Vacuum to get stadiums and pesky tools out of the way, in particular against certain tools like Bravery Charms and Ancient Booster Capsules, where you're not quite taking that one hit KO. Because of those, you can just vacuum them out of the way and swing. One copy of Roxanne, when your opponent's taken three or more prizes, you both players shuffle their hands into their deck. You draw six cards, they draw two cards. We've got one copy of Collapse Stadium to force both benches down to four. This is a great way to get that Luminion off the board after you're done with it so that you don't have a two prize liability on the bench. Four copies of Buddy Buddy Poffin. This is a new card from Temporal Forces. Let's you search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench. This is going to be great for getting the Charmanders on the board, Manaphy, Jirachi, and Cleffa as well. Three copies of Iono for Hand Disruption and four copies of Rare Candy to get our Charizard and Pidgeot set up. And yeah, again, six energy. So our general game plan is we want to get Charizard rolling and just swing, swing, swing. I have found that I like going second with Charizard, in particular being able to use Cleffa to draw more cards. And getting that first, getting knocked out first, losing a single prizer at the beginning of the game is not that bad because that unlocks an extra 30 damage for Charizard on the following turn, swing for 210, grab a Defiance Band, now you're swinging for 240, and you can really swing things in your favor. Turn one's not, not bad either, but I, I feel like Charizard going second is the better of the two, but swinging for 180, go, turn one going second is not bad either. I think Tord's list is very cool, a little different. I love that it's got some counters for the Charizard matchup, and Prime Catcher feels very good in Charizard as well. So I don't think it's necessarily a done deal, like take the Maximum Belt or take the Prime Catcher, but having the options to play around with is pretty cool and gives you some flexibility in your deck building. All right, let's get to these matches. We can actually do a little more damage on the follow-up. So I think we can go double Charmander here. It's fine. Arceus. Okay, a Charcius build. We have not seen the Arceus in a minute. That could be something we exploit later. Okay, interesting. Yeah, they're going to go attack with the Arceus. That's fine. Buddy Poffin, fantastic. Let's go and grab ourselves a... Actually, do we go with the... Do we go with the Cleffa here? I think we do. I think we go Cleffa Pidgey. And hopefully we get an energy so we can retreat. I could have also gone Bidoof. That is a thing I could have done. Uh, we will go and grab... We'll retreat into the Cleffa. And uh, we're only going to draw two extra cards here. Unless we bench another Pidgey. Which I don't know if I want to do. Uh, if they target the Pidgey... Yeah, let's go put the second Pidgey down. And we'll drop to seven. That gets us three cards. Okay. Okay. 
Luminion gets us Arvin, which gets us Pidgeot, which gets us the Riz. And I think we'll be okay. The double Pidgeot may have been, I think that might have been a, a reach in the sense that really we're only going to set up one. I get, I was concerned that if they target down, if they target down the Pidgey, then we'd be kind of screwed, especially since we went for Cleffa on the first draw there. So having an extra Pidgey clog up the board is kind of bad. We can potentially bump it off with a... Actually, we'd want to bump Luminion first, though. We, we're kind of stuck there. Hopefully, they're stuck right now. I kind of hope they're stuck right now. Yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck. Okay, awesome. At which point, how do we sequence this? We get Luminion for Arvin. Arvin gets us an item and a tool. I don't know what... Okay. What tool is worth counter catcher okay um yeah we got to go with luminion we grab arvin we don't need four seal stone yes so we'll grab arvin get our charizard rolling here and we can detach the four seal stone what item do we want we have charizard here oh we need we need rare candy duh uh rare candy and then for tools we can grab Ooh, gucci belt yes <clears throat> okay, so we got the Charizard. And actually, do we get the Pidgeot set up and then we grab Rare Candy? I think we do that. I think we... Did we use Force Seal Stone? No. Yeah, let's go get Pidgeot set up first. Okay, and then we've got two cards here. Um, I'm going to hold... Let's use Force Seal Stone now. And then we've got Pidgeot for... Yeah, because if they vacuum away the other stuff, then we're kind of screwed. And we're always going to have Pidgeot. So let's go and go with the Charizard. All right. And we're doing... Unfortunately, we're still doing... We're like one damage short on the, the Arceus here. One, two, and then we'll put one on the Charmander. Um, we'll retreat. And I guess we could choice belt up. And I think we use this time to... Let's go quick search for a Charmeleon here. So that we've got the second Charizard ready to go. And we'll swing for a solid 210. We can chase down this Arceus later. Now the the concern is once this <clears throat> Charme once this Charizard drops, we're we're kind of stuck for attack. Well, we have to get a another Charmander down. I guess we could get down a yeah yeah we got to get a Charmander as well. Shiro, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, do we? I don't think we set up a second Charizard right now. I don't. We, I don't think we have to. I think we could play. They're gonna attack with the Arceus, so we're gonna knock that out anyway. Um, I think we're gonna be ahead or even on prizes, just the way that this is playing out. They're gonna get a Charizard set up here. Hmm. And Secret Player says, okay, done with your reading for classes tomorrow and Tuesday. Awesome. So they have their Pidgeot set up. The, the Pidgeot knockout could be nice. Hmm. Okay, they just go double trim. They're just going to swing in. Um, <clears throat> two. I think we play the Collapsed at this point, right? And get the Luminion off the board. Ooh, Prime Catcher could be interesting. I think we hold our hand. I think we hold our hand. And... Yeah, let's go play the Collapse Stadium and get that Luminion out. Did we prize the Collapse? No, there it is. I think we do that. Get that off the board.
and we say goodbye to Luminion. I don't want them to have the extra prizes. And I could go in. Is it worth? No, I don't think it's worth. Yeah, I think we take the KO here while we can. I kind of want to hold our hand. If, if we get, yeah. I think we swing for 210. We take the two prizes. We don't have to go into Charizard right now. So let's just go take that. We'll take the two. Okay, fire. That's good. And Prime Catcher is very intriguing here. Hmm. What do we want? Because they're good. So knocking that gets us to 270. Yeah, 270 is annoying. Okay. We're gonna be 10 short on knocking out a Pidgeot in the following turn. Okay, they're gonna bench a Radiant Charizard already. That feels early. Hmm. Mandolin, these are definitely things to consider. Uh, I just asked to please refrain from the, the coaching. Yeah, if uh, after this knockout, we'll be only be doing 240. With the belt, it'll be 270? Or with the defiance ban, it'll be 270. Okay. Um, I think the, there's an argument to be made about going Radiant Charizard after this. And we still have time to... I think we need the Charizard. Mm, if we go Charmander. Mm, do we go with the Charmander now or do we go with the Charizard later? I don't have. Mm. I could also vacuum away. If I vacuum away the collapsed. Okay, we're not going to need another Pidgeot. Not going to need another Pidgeot. I don't think so. Give ourselves some extra space and now we can bench both. And now we can set ourselves up with the Charizard. How much energy do we have? That's another concern here is that we have we have one energy. <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to need to get a, a rod on the next turn. So let's go and grab ourselves. Actually, yeah, let's go grab Ch uh, Charizard. Let's go grab Charizard. Mm, we could be putting ourselves... I think we're we're potentially playing ourselves here. Because on the following turn... Damn, that Iona was really good. 240. Yeah, we have no energy right now. And... We don't have... Hmm. We kind of don't have a lot of resources here. I think we need... Yeah, do we super rod now? Or do we super rod on the following turn? If we... Yeah, right now having a one card hand is pretty awful. I don't think we have to super rod right this second. Maybe on the next... Uh, if we do it on the next turn, like... No red will give you energy. Hmm. Uh, Thraxes, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. That Iona was really annoying. Yeah, Burning Darkness for 240. Uh, what what card? Super Rod. No, Team Yell Cheer. Uh, Team Yell Cheer is not bad, but if I swing again, we take the KO, we take two prizes. I don't have anything else to fall back on. Arvin gets us an item and a tool. Arvin gets us... Okay, what can we grab with an item and a tool? Item and a tool gets us... Um, 
That gets us rot in something else. Okay, that could be good. Uh, the tool is... Mm, yeah, darn it. Do, do we Iono here and gamble? Okay, I'm going to Arvin. I'm going to Arvin. We'll play it safe for now. Let's go and grab ourselves a rod. And sure, the Defiance Band. We're not going to fall behind on prizes here. Uh, we'll hold on to that, though. And let's go and grab ourselves a... I think we take... Do we take the three... Three energy? I think we take the three energy. And let's go smash for 240. Now, where we could be in trouble, yeah, if they boss up the, the Pidgeot... <laughs> We could be in trouble. Hmm. Okay. They'll probably go in. Yeah, they're gonna they have to go in with Charizard. Ooh, the Iono was not good. I mean, not good for us. Okay, Roxanne could be it. Roxanne could be it. Um, Prime Catcher could be it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, if we Prime Catcher up the Pidgeot, that could be our, our win con at this point. Yeah, we Prime Catcher Pidgeot, and then we play to try and get the knockout on... But we need Rare Candy Zard at that point. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I do. I think regardless, we have to hit the Pidgeot. And that's the only way we win this. Whether that is... I think we can do that with an Energy and a... No, we're not... We can't Defiance Ban. Oh, Radiant Charizard. Interesting. We have to do it with, and we could also like Tiki Tack trade. Ah, uh, no. If we let it go to boss, we just lose, right? If we let it go to boss's orders, like if they go one more turn, they're just going to boss up and then we're dead. So um, let's go and grab, and we have Pidgeot for one more piece. So really, we just need one more piece, and we have a free retreat here. And let's go get one more pe please. Okay. Uh, that should be it. That should be it, right? If we go and get rid of these Poffins. And we get ourselves a Charizard. And we get the win. G. Jeez. All right. Prime Catcher. Kind of proving it's worth there. Lots of Charizards going with the Maximum Belt. I totally get it. I think that my initial instinct was to put a maximum belt in this list as well. But Prime Catcher showing its worth there being we were kind of in a tough spot there. Luckily, drew into a Prime Catcher and that created a scenario where we could theoretically pick off the the Pidgeot. And luckily for us, we were able to get the Ultra Ball there, which would have got us Charizard. We did Super Rod at the right time. Uh, the Arvin proved to be the right choice, being able to super rod that energy in preemptively. Otherwise, we would not have been able to get Charizard or a Radiant Charizard rolling at that point in time. So being able to, to, to plan that out, at least a turn ahead, was pretty great. And we were able to take the win in the mirror match. GG's. Oh, no, this is a different... Yeah, I think we are running it back. Same player. Okay, so we know they have... <laughs> <laughs> we know they have the canceling cologne. We know they have the canceling cologne. Unfortunately, that really limits our options here on what we can do. Okay, they get the raging bolt. Um What do we do? I really want 
I don't think we can retreat out of the... Oh, interesting. That's not a good start for them. Uh, we get the Bidoof down. That's good. Buddy Poffin gets us... I could play Turo Scenario to just draw up to seven, but that doesn't get me... Hmm. And we... The Manaphy's not coming out right. Or the Greninja's not coming out right now. I don't have to worry about that. I could go... Their hand is not good. I think we go Pidgey Cleffa. If we go Pidgey Cleffa and they... No, we go Pidgey Charmander. And I think we boss up. We trap the Sandy Shocks. In the active and then we wait we've got rare candy charizard we can get rolling next turn let's just go trap the sh sandy shocks there and let's wait i don't think they're attacking next turn yeah at this rate they are not they can burst roar We'll get some energy down. I don't think it's worth playing Luminion at this point. We don't need it. Um, I guess we could. We can use Luminion to get Ultra Ball for Seal Stone. And we get the Pidgeot set up. Yeah, they're not attacking right now. So not too worried about that. And JF Raptor, thank you so much for renewing your sub. Much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. And Raging Bolt not going to do anything. They can Burst Roar for six, and we can give them a different six. I don't know what value there is in that. Oh, Energy Switch. Yeah, okay, yeah, move that off. I don't... That's kind of weird. I, would not, I wouldn't have wasted the <laughs> Canceling Clone right there. Okay, they'll give themselves a fresh six cards. And we can go in with the Charizard right away. Yeah, we can just start swinging. So, yes. Okay, we've got one energy in the discard, or one energy in the deck after this. So that's something to note. Um, if we go Luminion for Arvin... That gets us a whole new set of cards. Plus, we have an out on the following turn. Okay, let's do that. Yes, we go and grab Arvin. Arvin gets us... Okay, if we go... Oh, actually, no. That doesn't get us <laughs> what I think it does. Um... No, that doesn't get us what we get... What I thought at all. Okay. Ultra Ball 4 Seal Stone? Yeah. We can still do this, right? Yeah. If we go and attach the 4 Seal Stone, we have to get rid of the Iono. That does kind of suck, but we do get a... We get the Pidgeot. And we get the Rare Candy. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay. So, we get the Rare Candy. And then we can grab ourselves either. I think we get a Bidoof down, actually. Or a Beeberl instead of the Charmeleon here. We get ourselves five more cards. And potentially have lots going on here. So let's go and drop the five. And yeah, we can Buddy Poffin for... Ooh, uh, the Vacuum could come in handy later. Let's go and put down a... Another Charmander. Yeah, do we want another Charm Charmander? Uh, I think we do. Okay. And we'll swing. We're only doing 180 here. I don't think they have much going on either. So that's fine. I think that if we have another... We want to save the vacuum for when we are one-shotting Raging Bolts. And we don't have to worry about Manaphy right now. Manaphy is, or like the Greninja, they have to get a Palkia down 
and then get a Greninja and get the energy on. And I don't think they're doing that right the second. I don't think they have the cards for it. Now, they could blast us right now. If they get a fifth energy down, they could just knock us out. And then we are in big trouble. Okay, here comes the Greninja. This is something... Now we're going to have to keep this in mind. Ah, uh, do we? Yeah, I think Raging Bull... Yeah, if they go and burn all their energy right now, this Charizard is dead. Here comes the Palkia. Oh, Prime Catcher. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we do lose the Pidgeot. That's unfortunate, but we do have a backup engine here. And we actually... So this is where the vacuum comes in handy. Because now we just vacuum this and we one-shot this um, Raging Bolt. Does kind of suck. Yep, yeah, they gave up all their energy here. Okay, let's see what we can do. Yeah, we will take the one-hit KO on the Bolt. We can one-shot this later. Ooh, Radiant... Ah, this is... Decisions, decisions. Um... I don't want to vacuum away the rod. I think we have to vacuum away the rod. Oh, hold on. We have options here. We have options here. Yeah, we can draw up and see what we can vacuum off instead. And hopefully... Uh, we could boss up. No, I don't want to boss that up. I think, yeah, we can vacuum away the poffin. That's way better of an option here. And then, yeah, we send that capsule out of the... Uh, out of the way. Uh, Rod is not going to help us right this second. Boss is not going to help us right this second. I'd rather give them four cards. Uh, mm, we are... How much energy do they have? Three water. The Greninja could be a problem. The Greninja could be a problem. Because they can still snipe these two out. I should have thought of that beforehand. Okay. Yeah, they're going to go for the snipe. Yeah, as they should. As they should. That's a... Uh... Crappy play on my part. Good snipe for them. Good snipe for them. Uh, if we take out the bolt... Hmm. Really annoying. Yeah, they'll, they'll get it down to two prizes. They're not going to hit the Charizard at all. They are going to get Sada's Vitality up. And yeah, I think the thing we are most scared of is... And we're actually... Yeah, we have to Turo away the Luminion here. I don't want them to have access to a two-price target other than Charizard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they are pretty good, pretty well set up, TBH. Going forward, Moonlight Shuriken hitting the Charmander 60. That's that's annoying. I We literally lost to this last time. Okay, the likelihood of them doing that again, I mean, not impossible, slim, slim. Okay, so Radiant Charizard is online. I think we bench the Manaphy anyway. I don't think we bench another Charmander. We have Prime Catcher, which we can use to blast this Raging Bolt. And then we Turo away the Luminion and say, bet, you're gonna have to go and knock out. Yeah, so let's go hit the Raging Bolt. Charizard. And do we thin our hand here? Uh, we'll hold on to the Luminion. Luminion could be good later. 
This could be good. Yeah, we'll hold on to... Yeah, Rare Candy we're not going to need. Pidgeot we're not going to need. Let's get rid of those just to thin our hand so we can draw into more cards. Uh, I'm not going to... Let's draw up. And Chirachi. And we will blast for 250. And right now, they are not one-shotting anything. We have game in hand at this point. Um, yeah, we can we can one shot the Palkia. We can one shot the Sh Sandy Shocks. We're doing like a ton of damage here. And sure, they can get bosses orders and yeah, I don't know, boss up the Beebrel or something. If they boss up the Beebrel, that'd actually be kind of annoying because we, we can't switch out. <laughs> I don't think that's what they want to do. Because that doesn't win them the game. It only stalls for time. Okay, they don't have, they cannot one shot this Charizard. So let's see how they play it. They're just going to get rid of more energy. Yeah, they've bench locked themselves at this point. So that's good, right? The, the biggest attack I have to worry about. Palky is not going to attack. Like, if they're just going to attack with the Sandy Shocks, they just lose. Me Even if they load up the Mew with energy, that is not going to, to hurt us either. Yeah, I guess they could go for a Greninja and then take out the Radiant Charizard to push it to one prize. Oh, no, they're going to go in with the Sandy Shocks. They just lose at that point. If that if that really is the play. If they go in with any of these other Pokemon, they just lose. Well, actually, no, they don't. They don't. If they end the... Yeah, because we can't attack right now, right? So here's Irida. I don't know. What's the play? It's the Palpad. Okay. Yeah, they need like some crazy combination of Collapse Stadium and all sorts of stuff. Is there a way we can get Radiant Charizard out of... Nope. If they just swing... Yeah, they're swinging with this. So uh, we get the win. <laughs> that was a lot for not a lot of payoff. But we, we get the win there. GG swinging for 330 damage on this raging bolt and yeah we we get the dub crushing them i think the prime catcher once again proving its worth taking out that raging bolt i think that was a really scary scenario there where it did kind of suck they blasted the charizard early but they then put us put themselves in a weird spot where they didn't have a, anything else after that and they started building up their bench to get that second Raging Bolt or get that one ready to go to one hit KO another Charizard. Uh, but thankfully, Prime Catcher helped us save the day, take out that Raging Bolt, and then they bench locked themselves with attackers that just weren't going to have the firepower to one shot a Charizard. And again, shout outs to Professor Turo's scenario where we were able to use that to get Luminion off the board so that we were in a position to or we prevented them from being able to take a two prize KO in the late game. They had to go through Charizard and we ended up taking the win there. The the Manaphy is kind of annoying. I arguably probably should, I benched one too many Charmanders and could have gone in with the Manaphy instead, especially since we cut out of the video, but I played them the match before and I got blown up for the, they had man, I left Manaphy in the active. They played Canceling Cologne, Greninja Snipe, my Charmanders and I was dead. Uh, thankfully, they were not able to uh, steal another win from us in that fashion. GG's. There we go. That is a look at Tord's Championship Charizard 
EX build. Again, congratulations to Tord winning yet again one of, if not the greatest Pokemon TCG player of all time. I know there's the debate about Tord versus Jason Klasinski. Klasinski won three world championships, but that was all before the modern era, and, and Tord has won pretty much everything since. Uh, the debate will continue to rage on, and that that's all right. Regardless of how you slice it, Tord is at worst <laughs> the second best Pokemon TCG player of all time, and he just continues to add to his resume, maybe even get that world elusive world championship this year and, and maybe he'll continue to do so with his amazing deck building skills innovating on the charizard in ways that others hadn't really up to this point so uh kudos to tord on the win and thanks for this deck but for now i gotta get going thank you so much for watching you can find me on all the things youtube tiktok twitter and instagram at in third person you can find me on twitch at in third person where you can watch me like i'm streaming right now <laughs> every sunday morning at 10 a.m eastern time and I, I saw we just got a follow right there gambo au thank you so much for the follow and check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits if you are watching this twitch are on live on twitch right now i you could still watch more but because we're on youtube we got to get going so twitch fam stick around but youtube i'll see you later Bye bye